Hi, did you know that your phone has more germs than a public toilet? 10 times as many germs, in fact. And we use our phones every single day. So you're in the bathroom, you're doing your phone, you're taking a little poop, and there you go. The poop particle just hit your phone. Isn't that disgusting? Please wipe your fucking phones, people. At least once a day, it'll take that much time. Just grab a disinfectant, just clean it. You know, that's just gross. That's just really nasty. But yeah, you don't think about these things. And, and it, the fact that it's more dirty than a toilet, that that is just vile. I don't even know what to say. So welcome to an episode of Never Mind a Broadcast. And I'm your host, Izzy Smut. So this first band are called the Taste Testers. And it's very Ramones core. And I love this song. It's called I Don't Want You to Fall in Love with Me. Which, too late, because I already fell in love with the taste testers and they can't do anything about it. Because that's, you know, that's what's going to happen. I'm going to fall in love and they can't stop me. Try to stop me, because it's not going to work. So it's all downstrokes, no guitar solos, no bass lines, no bullshit. Sometimes you don't need, and I always say that, I always say, people don't need to do extravagant solos and crazy, you know, all this stuff in the song. Sometimes you don't need it. Sometimes just fucking play. You don't need to be, like, we're not, sometimes, like, we're, it, back in the day, like, you have, like, 10-minute solos, and then people just stand there. It's like, oh, great. You're a great guitar player, but are you a great songwriter? To see, that's the thing. Like, I like when people just have just the no bullshit, just keep it real, just go for it. So this band's awesome. They're called the Taste Testers, so check it out. So it's, I don't want you to fall in love with me by the Taste Testers. That was I Don't Want You to Fall in Love With Me by The Taste Testers. And this next band are from Vancouver, British Columbia. They're called Toy Tiger. They're a street rock and roll band. And the song is called Creepers. I love this song because it's not only catchy, it's, it's very oi vibe, but it's also true. There's fucking creepers everywhere. It's crazy. I mean, it, people, it, like, people don't know the extent of how bad creepers can get. Especially um, because I've had experience with them in the past. and Well, I still do sometimes. But I have to. that's why I have to kind of like be very uh, aware of my surroundings and basically kind of be careful. Because, I, I mean, I had a situation where my band, we were all female band, and we had a guy that was so creepy that he would just made us all really uncomfortable at a show. And 
you know, he, st he wanted to buy one of my bassist's piercings right off of her. He was just making us really weird and uncomfortable comments. And we had to hide in a bathroom. Hence the song Nature of the Game, if you haven't heard by Van Broads, my old band. But that's where the song came from. Like, we were creeped on. Not just that, that, not just that instance, but other instances where we would have people kind of, you know, we, we would always have to be in a group. Especially with, you know, we have to be together and in a group because you don't know. You don't, especially if you're a woman in the music scene, you don't know if somebody has a bad intention. So you have to, you have to kind of be on the edge on that. That's why... I always say, if I'm at a show and somebody's making you uncomfortable, say something. You know, like say something to the bartender. Say something to somebody. Don't just, you know, don't just like try to handle it yourself. Don't try. I mean, you could. I mean, some girls can and 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 will handle it themselves. But I'm just saying, that there's it's a it's a shit world out there. So I like that they made this song because not only is it so true. It, it, I want to see them fall because fuck them. Those people should not be creeping. So this band rules. They, check them out. They, they're touring everywhere. So I think they were just in Mexico recently. So check them out. Toy Tiger with Creepers. That was Toy Tiger with Creepers, and it's the next band. They're from Tucson, Arizona. They're called The Class. You could have fooled me. I mean, I, I really thought this band was from somewhere in Europe. I, I didn't, They just didn't sound like any band I've heard in America. So I, I, I love that. I think that that's amazing. So they're glam, garage, and they, uh, they just released uh, a new album called The Healthy Alternative. And the song that I'm going to play is called Bebop with the Rats. You know, I was in the Bratz fan, and I want to bebop. But not only that, I love this band because they don't sound like anything else I've heard in America. It's like, I really I really thought they were in Europe. So I was like, oh, man, now I have to travel to go see them. and like, Or, like, I have to wait till they come here, whenever the hell that will be, because that sucks. I don't have to wait. Like, if they decide to tour around me, I could just fucking go, which is great. So that's awesome. So check it out. So this is Bebop with the Rats by the class.
Bebop with the Rats by the Class, and this next act, it's a duel. It's an acoustic punk duel, and they're called Band Bitters in Distraction. Wait, Bitters in Distraction, not band. Whoops, that was the name of the band. I fucked up. I fucked up, okay? Uh, let, let me redo it. So they're called Bitters in Distractions, and they're from Long Island, New York, and the song is called The Expression Left. So... You know, it's it's tough because uh, especially with like acoustic acts, you have to like really rely on each other, you know, to, to make it sound the way it should sound. And, and I give people a lot of credit because, you know, sometimes you have, you know, when you're in a band, you have your whole band to cover you up. But when it's just you and your guitar and or, you know, just a duel, it's just a lot harder to cover up. And like, I give people credit that can do that because I, I find this song awesome. I find them amazing. And, and uh, yeah, I can't wait for you guys to listen. So this is Bitters and Distractions by The Expression Expression Left. Wow, I fucked up a lot in that one. The Expression Left. Okay, I'm leaving it on. I'm leaving it on. It's my show. Say what you want. I need an end to this. Got nothing left to give. It's always relative. That was The Expression Left by Bitters and Distractions. And we have the last band. They're from Indonesia. They're called The Lad 69. Um, don't try to search them on Google because tons of porn will come up. So just, you know, unless you want to watch that, which that's fine. I'm not judging you. So they're a skinhead band, oi punk band from Indonesia. And they sent me this song called Skinhead the mana mana and it reminds me of lion's law i love it it's just very oi and and it's a good way to end the show um for this episode today 
And I'm, I'm really excited. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys for checking it out, supporting, spreading the word. And I've also, you know, have a, you know, bunch of stuff going on too. And um, thank you guys. And please send me more music. IzzySmart at gmail.com. Make sure it's a waiver MP3 file. And as always, always, always follow the bands that I played on the show because, you know, they, are, they send me the songs. So check it out. So this is Skinhead the Mana Mana by The Last 69. Brought out. Yeah.